I'm Elof Axel Carlson. I was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1931. Uh, I attended NYU as an undergrad and then went to Indiana University for a PhD with geneticist Herman Muller. Muller was a Nobel laureate who won the Nobel Prize in 1946 for work he had done uh, 20 years earlier, uh, founding the field of radiation genetics by inducing mutations with x-rays. We think of sex as two things, male and female, but there are problems sometimes with the um, external genitalia, sometimes with the internal genitalia and sometimes with the gonads. And uh, I began to think of sex as um, forming in seven different ways. And I call this the seven sexes of humans. And it forced the students to think of sex as a complex reproductive system in which the embryonic rudiments of the internal genitalia and the external genitalia and the gonads um, are all in a timed sequence. And if you understood this, you could understand how every hermaphroditic or pseudo-hermaphroditic or chimeric condition arose in human sexuality. Uh, so each case, instead of being something weird that went wrong, became very rational and you could understand what went wrong, when it went wrong, and what I didn't know at the time, what the impact was on these individuals. Because nobody was really writing about intersexual individuals in the 1950s and describing their lives. You can get in human beings, chromosome abnormalities, gene mutation abnormalities that affect hormone production, gene mutation abnormalities that affect receptors of these hormones. Because if the hormone is produced, like testosterone, and there's no SRY gene, then you uh, have an individual that's intersex. So there are a lot of intersex conditions. The major ones are endocrinological, some are chromosomal, some are single gene mutations, and they vary. I've counted around 40 or 50 different types of abnormalities in humans in the medical literature, each with a different name, a different syndrome for sexual development. So there are many, many uh, departures from what is called the typical image we conjure up in our mind of what is a male and what is a female. The real difficulty I've encountered in the last two or three years is the response of individuals who have intersex conditions or genital uh, departures from the normal expectation and the name that should be applied for this and how they see themselves and what they want repaired or what they don't want repaired, or what they want their parents to repair, or what they don't want their parents to repair. And it's a very tough decision. A public understanding of biology should be widespread because almost every issue of concern we can explore at many levels, including a biological level. Very often that biological level is left out. For example, in the history of radiation genetics, uh, people in industry didn't think about biology when they were introducing fluoroscopes to measure shoe size in children in the 1920s and 1930s. Beaming up x-rays into the testes and ovaries of these young children getting their shoes and doing this damage even to themselves and not even being aware 
that they were being exposed every day to radiation. Um, when I worked with Muller, I developed a social conscience about the biological way in which our lives come in conflict with society. And Muller said something very startling to me once. He said, Gilof, genetics is the most subversive science because it deals with issues of fundamental importance, including our survival and our health. So he's right. He's right because we get very nervous when we talk about things that make industries get more expenses or get more regulation. They don't like it. We teach the wrong biology in high school. We should teach a biology of the human condition. We should teach the biology we need to know so that citizens can be informed and make decisions with at least the correct biology in their mind and not a bunch of nonsense that's been passed down for thousands of years that has no relation to what we know. When we deal with complex issues, um, we can, as scientists, approach these by teasing out piece by piece all the components of something very complex. And that's essential for the biological part. But there is no way, piece by piece, to take a complex social problem and tease out all the individual thoughts of a society that collectively makes a decision about what is male, what is female, what is gender, what are gender roles, what are appropriate, what are not appropriate, what sexual orientation, what is its relationship to homosexuality, heterosexuality, how do you classify an intersex? Are you going to ask the person to self-declare that they're male or female? What bathroom should they go into? What clothing should they wear? Can an intersex marry? Or are they forbidden because they're intersex to marry nobody? and live a celibate life to make other people happy because they have a dualism in their mind that there is only a male or a female and don't bother me with gene mutations and chromosomes and biology and nature. I don't care. I only want the truth, male or female, and keep it precise. That's a mistake. And getting that across, I think, is a major point I would love to see emphasized in your production. I would avoid a blizzard of information. If it's too technical, uh, too dry, too encyclopedic, people will turn off. So you have animation is one way of getting some of these things across, but you'd have to have a good animator who knows how to show a developmental process of making an embryo into a male or making it into a female, because most people just, beyond the penis and the gonad or the vagina and the gonad, they don't know anything about how things are put together and why things are not always put together the way they should be. So that absence of knowledge, I think, leads to misunderstanding and why our birth certificates only say male or female and don't add other uh, as an option. Uh, whether or not our Congress or our states would ever allow other is very difficult to predict. American society can be cantankerous at times on social issues, uh, particularly when they involve sex. Good luck. I think it's a terrific idea and I look forward to it when it's done.